now we got the shape the basic shape and we need to define a few things we need to work on edge mode and I will double click this edge and I need to push it back a bit and I need to double it double click this outer edge and chamfer this not much actually let's make the value something like 0 0.5 maybe 1 I just need it to be creased and press ok now I need to create some extra cuts to start the final shaping so let me use the swift loop and I will create one cut here and I go to left view and here we will need to model these two pieces so we need extra cuts uh, vertically I need one right here another one here another one here and the final maybe we need two at this part so you can get rid of these uh, things and I'm not sure if I can have any cut at this part how this will affect the shape if I create this cut and then let me check the norm fine it looks fine okay good so I deactivate uh, from edit I deactivate the norm I deactivate the swift loop now let me use a technique to create this pump right here before we proceed and of course these uh, vertices will be adjusted but let me first show you my technique to create this look that looks like a, uh, a bowl something like this if I select, if I create a uh, rectangular selection, if you press L for left view and I use rectangular selection, now I go to front view and I try to push them, this ugly effect is what we get and of course that's not what we need. We need to use soft selection mode. We open the, the menu, we click use soft selection and we change these parameters uh, I will change the mode to left view and I will select um, let me actually drag this edge and I will deactivate of course the soft selection let me drag this edge to the left so it can look something like in the middle and that too okay Now I get back to my vertices mode, I select this vertex, or maybe this one, it looks like in the middle. Now I use soft selection. Here I will raise the fall off and I raise the fall off so it increase the space of effect and of course it affects gradually the effect works gradually so here it gives me 100 percent and then it goes gradually so let me raise the fall off so it can take all this part and now uh, the pinch make it minus 0.2 and the uh, bubble i will raise the bubble actually let me make it 1.2 and I will decrease the fall off because I don't want these edges to be affected and I can raise the bubble 
external now let me get back to front view now when we push this to the front that's what we get we get this effect maybe we need to change the vertex and do it one more time try this one go to front view and do it again oops let me reduce the fall off and do it one more time reduce the fall off and do it one more time maybe I need to go up right here and go to front view I can push it not much reduce the fall off because I want the effect to work exactly right here and finally let me affect this one get back to front view push it forward reduce the fall off push it forward and that's it we got the bumpy look we wanted without much of working and of course we can fix these vertices position but of course what we got here is a quick application of the bumpy look we would like to get uh, I will stop this lesson I won't go further in this lesson and I will fix the position of these vertices and then start to create the uh, outer part that will be connected to this one so keep up with me